Pastor preaches this to us all the time. Holiness is right. Holiness unto the Lord is a wonderful song. But a lot of people don't preach this anymore. But in this house, we must have a standard. Everything must be in order. Not anybody in the church do whatever they want. Praise the Lord. Because our pastor is a shepherd. And we are the sheep. And as the shepherd says, you do something wrong, don't feel bad if you're a people. But he loves you enough to tell you what you want. Praise the Lord. He's a true shepherd. Tell you what he does. Not a lot of preachers for allow that. A lot of people will allow these people to do so many things in the church and hide so many things. But we have to thank God we have a pastor. Talk your hands to him. Talk your hands to him. He's seen the light of living. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We must see those things which are above. It's personal. I don't know about you, but the life I live outside, it has to be right with God. Because we can put up a show. We, can, we have a lot of entertainers in the church. We have a lot of boasters in the church. Praise the Lord. We have, we have a lot of Egyptians in the church. Oh, praise the Lord. We have a lot of Egyptians in the church. They will sit down, hold their head back, and feel like they're in a movie theater. But not in this house of God. We must stand. Let us not stand in gazing. Praise the Lord Jesus. What is our glory to the all? We must watch and pray. So you know we must watch. So the adversary is so strong that we can go outside and a bullet can take you right now. You can collapse and be paid right now. Tomorrow is not promised to no man. Simply God, we hear the word Sunday after Sunday, year after year. We see people dying. We see them in the casket. Simply God, why don't we change? Praise the Lord. That's why why won't we change? We have so many weights. Yes, we have so many problems, but you can't let your problems overtake what God has in store for you. Praise the Lord. Because God is a problem solver. Praise the Lord. God is your keeper. Praise the Lord. He watches over us. You know how many times you go to bed and some people don't wake up? My prayer is when I go to bed and I wake up, I say, Thank you, Lord, that you're holding me up because I'm not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes. No, no, we're not perfect. I'm not a perfect man. But I'm striving to make you into the kingdom of heaven. That's what I want to be. That's my role. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of becoming on the cross. I want to go to heaven and rest. Anybody feel that way? I want to go to heaven. How do you want to go to heaven here? So glory. So glory. So glory. Hallelujah. 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 There is no second chance in the grave. There is no second chance. No matter how you no, no matter how you dress pretty. No matter how you wear a big hat. No matter how you wear a big front. No matter how you, you do so many things. No matter how you put a front in church. Come on, let us be real in the house of God. Let us be real. We cannot we cannot go wrong with this. This is the house of God. Everything must be in order and the word of God. Who am I blessed? No one curse. Praise the Lord. So if God blesses us, then why are we cursing each other? If God is blessing us, why are we not biting each other? If God loves us, why are we why are we why are we being church? We must stand fitted in the house of God. If you don't feel the fire, come to the altar and let the man of God pray for you so that fire can ignite the fire of you. Too many times we're in the house of God. And we, and we let the fire run out. We sit down in the church and we act like there's nothing going on. If you bring your fire, if you bring your anointing, and if you say you have the Holy Ghost, then you have to put it in action. Love is action. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I don't have no action. Because they're saying, action speaks louder than words. Praise the Lord Jesus. You cannot tell me you love me, but you don't make no sacrifice to me. Praise the Lord Jesus. You cannot say you love me, and yet you're not living right to, to show an example to me. Praise the Lord. We have too many hypocrites in the church. I'm going to say it again. We have too many fake people in the church. But the blood of Jesus is against them. They go shaka masaka. Too many hypocrites in the house of God. They must be stopped before they overtake us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because we have the sword. We have the battle. We have the sword. We must fight against these these spiritual things. All of this garbage in the church. All of this garbage in the church. Praying the young people. Praying the people of God. We have a man so confused. 
too many old prophets, there's too many prophets. Too many so called prophets. I think to other churches. There's too many prophets and not a true prophet of God. Some want money. Some want fame. Some want to be on TV. Praise the Lord. You see Lazarus? Lazarus was the wicked one. The poor man. And Abraham was a rich man. Praise the Lord Jesus. That goes to show that no matter how rich you are, you can still go to hell because guess what? When you die, somebody else is going to take over, go over that. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We must live a life that is pleasing unto Almighty God. Yeah. Too many times we're in church and we act like God is not here. God is invisible. God is a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. God can take us anytime on. You know what foolish is going on inside the church? Yeah. We need to stop it. We need to be on the word of God. We need to be in our rightful position. We cannot speak if you're in the if you're in this uh, congregation and you're not supposed to be in the choir. Get on the choir. Because that's where you see everybody has their different blessings. I have the blessing to play the music. You have the blessing to sing. You have the blessing to discern. You see, we have to do all of this for the next generation. Because guess what? If you die and it's not accomplished, there is no second chance. You can do more and cry and beg and plead on your knees. God, when God, when, when you can see God, God is saying, depart from me. Yeah. I know you not. I, I don't know what you said to God, but I don't know God to tell you to depart from me. Praise the Lord. I've been traveling for the song says, a long time, and I'm not tired yet. How many people are tired? When you're not supposed to be tired in any time, because the enemy is going to talk any year, and you have to be ready to plead the blood. Sometimes we use our blood for too many things. We curse one another, we back one another, we say we get into the meat and then we try to pretend to love each other. Not so the words of God. We must be on the word of God. Let us not be like the Egyptians. Let us not be the safety safety. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let us fight be brave against all evil. Never run or even get behind. If you win, keep on the following line. I don't know what you think of God, but but I want, when I die, I want to make it to the kingdom of God. I don't want my labor to be in vain. Praise the Lord. I don't want to, I don't want to come to church and play church. Play time is over. You see, God, God has given us a sign. Our first lady is gone. Brother Nightburn is gone. Sister Barney. Oh, uh, Lord. Brother Kevin. Question is, who's next? Who, 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 who thinks they're going to be ready to die? Because it's, the Bible said, is appointed unto man. Wants to die. The Bible also says, Death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? You see, as a child of God, I come to realize that if, you're, if, you, if, you're, if you keep on the fire and if you have the Holy Ghost, you are not supposed to, you are not supposed to fear death. It, because if you have the blood of Jesus, if you have, if you know you have done the right, if you know you have apologized, if you know you have fast and prayed, and see God's face. What do you know about this you pass away? Because you're gonna see you're gonna see our Father who Lord in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the song was singing, let the church say amen. We truly must say amen. Because God did not have to make us live. That's right. We was in we were born in birth. We were shaped in iniquity. In sin we were mother conceived us. But thanks be God. We have the power. Somebody shout power. power! Somebody shout power! power. Praise the Lord Jesus! Because this is a personal thing. This is personal. Too many times we're in church and act like God is not there. We want to just sit down and look pretty and, 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 think, and give God our 10% praise, our 50% praise. But then when you go on the street, you see the same people giving praise to the devil. I see a lot of people give 100% to the devil but give less to God. Praise the Lord. This is why the man of God always says, give God his time. Because we know that we are busy, but we, we can never be too busy for God. For God has brought us a mighty long way. Some God has brought for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. And some have, some have went down the way, wayside. But thank God, we have the power to overcome the enemy. We have the power to overcome death. Praise the Lord. For death, for death is, 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 a, is just a stepping stone for the afterlife. Because God is going to call the people from the grave first. Praise the Lord Jesus. And if we're not ready, 
If we're not ready, 